Yo, what is up guys? It's High Cross, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick little tutorial and showing you guys the best settings that you guys can actually directly copy from what I show you to give you the absolute best settings possible for Fortnite and to give you the most consistent FPS and lowest latency. And the inspiration for this video is actually from a post on Twitter from Jernan, who is an experienced PC tweaker um, and troubleshooter. He works directly with Paragon Tweaks, and if you guys don't know who Paragon Tweaks is, he is an absolute goat. Um, please drop him a follow. He tweaked my PC. He's worked with Booga, a bunch of other pro players. Um, nothing but nice things to say about that dude. So he's a great guy. Uh, but yeah, I came across this post a few days ago and I tried these settings out um, and they ended up performing incredibly. So I definitely want to make a video on this. So shout out Jernan. I'll have Jernan and Paragon Tweaks, both of their uh, socials down in the description below because this obviously was their findings, but I did want to make a full entire video on that. Um, to kind of showcase what they found. So basically what they found was Jernan ran some tests, all right? So we tested some common setups like reflex, low latency mode, FPS cap methods under both the old and new performance modes. So if you guys don't know, there's two performance modes. One is a legacy performance mode that runs on DX11 and one is the new performance mode that runs on DX12. Um, and the legacy performance mode, the reason it's called legacy is because they're eventually going to retire and remove it completely and there will only be the new performance mode on DX12. But right now there is a legacy mode. And his findings was that the old performance mode plus low latency mode, ultra, reflex off in Fortnite, NVIDIA control panel at an FPS cap equals the best results possible. And that can be seen through all these findings. You guys could pause and take a look at it here. There's not crazy differences, but you could definitely tell that it's there. Um, so some pretty cool stuff. I do like that he tested absolutely everything, but uh, yeah, what I'm going to take you guys through is just kind of show you guys the Fortnite settings to copy as well as the NVIDIA control panel settings. Um, he has his settings right here. You guys can copy it or you guys can continue watching the video because I'm going to take you guys through a step by step on how to get these settings as well. So real quick, I do want to make note of a quick little notes that he wrote down as well. So the new performance mode adds spikes and worse lows on NVIDIA. So this is going to apply to you guys with NVIDIA GPUs. I do have an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti just for reference. The in-game FPS cap still tanks consistency. So he recommends that you set your in-game FPS to unlimited, which I've always capped my in-game FPS. Always, always, always. So this is definitely going to be a big change for most of you guys as well. And he recommends capping it only through NVIDIA control panel at your monitor's hertz. So if you guys have a 165 hertz monitor, cap your frames at 165 frames. I will show you guys how to do all this in one second. And then he also has last thing right here for NVIDIA GPUs, legacy performance mode is still the better choice for smoother pacing and input response. So that is really good to know what we're going to do now is hop in fortnite and i'll kind of show you guys the settings so what you guys are going to do is go to the top right hand corner and go into your settings and the very first thing we're going to do here is for your frame rate limit actually set this to unlimited i've already done all these things so you guys are just going to listen to what i say and copy them so before since i have a 240 hertz monitor i had mine set at 240 fps now I have it set to unlimited, which is definitely a big change. Never really put it on unlimited. So this is going to be a big change. Again, like I said, for most of you guys as well. For the rendering mode, he recommends that you keep it at legacy performance. This is what I was using anyways, but it's legacy performance deprecated. And there's also the regular performance, which is the new performance mode that runs on direct X 12. And I quickly want to go back because there was actually a helpful comment on this thread made by Edmire 2K right here. He said that legacy will be retired and removed soon, so it's better people get used to DX12 performance before that happens. Now again, that is kind of like a statement, that is definitely a recommendation. It's up to you guys, if you guys want to go on the DX12 new performance mode, since legacy will be getting retired and removed soon, you guys can feel free to do so. However, personally, if you guys want my opinion, I say just stay on legacy until they remove it, because once they remove it, it won't matter. Everyone will be forced on DX12 anyways. Might as well get the absolute best performance while you can. Um, but I did want to make note of that comment. Just so you guys know, they are going to be removing it, but there is no set date on when they're doing that yet. Probably chapter seven is my guess. So probably early next year. But for now, we're going to use the uh, legacy performance deprecated. So we're going to scroll down after you guys set those. And he also recommends that putting your NVIDIA reflex low latency actually on off. And mine was actually on on or on plus boost, either one of those. Um, I've actually never had this off. So that is pretty interesting. But I did notice that my frames were a 
lot more consistent and my game felt really nice. So I don't know if this is a direct, you know, reflection of having this off, but he does recommend having this off with all these other combination of settings as well. So that is all the Fortnite settings that you guys need to copy. Next step is I'm going to show you guys my NVIDIA control panel settings. You guys can copy all my settings that I have in there because I will make a note of a couple small things. All right, guys. So once you guys are on your desktop, you guys are going to right click your desktop, go to show more options and go to NVIDIA control panel. It will take a second for it to pop up, but once it pops up, you guys are going to go into the top left-hand corner and click on Manage 3D Settings. And once that pops up, you guys will see a whole array of settings. You guys are going to scroll down just a tad into about the middle, and we're actually going to go back to the post because I'm going to show you guys what he had. So he has two kind of big settings that you guys need to focus on, which is the low latency mode. Make sure that is set to ultra. And for your max frame rate, make sure you cap your frames at whatever hurts your monitor is at. Again, I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I will put mine at 240 FPS. So let's show you guys how that reflects in, in the NVIDIA control panel. So as you guys can see, for the low latency mode, I have mine on ultra, and for the max frame rate, I have mine set at 240 FPS. And if you click on that to change this, if you guys are curious, there's actually this little like bar that you could scroll and kind of change. That's what I did, or you could directly type it in. But again, like I said, make sure you guys switch that to whatever your monitor's hertz is and just hit OK. Now, I'm quickly going to show you guys my other settings because all these other settings should be the absolute best settings for Fortnite in 2025. All these other settings were recommended by Paragon Tweaks as well, who is, like I said, extremely well known in the PC tweaking industry. So you guys could feel free to copy that. If I had to make note of one absolute, make sure you have this setting copied, it would probably be the power management mode, have that set to prefer maximum performance. Um, that is the absolute one that I would make sure you guys copy for sure. But then after you guys have all this stuff copied, make sure you guys go down to the bottom right hand corner. You guys should see a little apply tab. Make sure you hit apply and hit OK. And once you guys do that, you are safe to close out. And yeah, after you guys close out, you will officially be on those settings. I do recommend restarting your PC just so everything works its way in and everything is nice and fresh and ready to go for Fortnite. But yeah, shout out to Jernan for uh, kind of making this post. I love posts like this because I can make videos on them and they're very, very helpful. Jernan is a great guy. Nothing but nice things to say about Jernan as well. Um, I've heard really great things about Jernan as well as Paragon. Again, like I said, both of their socials will be down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. Uh, but yeah, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well as subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 12,000 subs. Thank you guys so much for that. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.